Somebody said, walk with God. You know, in the days when I was in the world, I mean, I mean, born in a church, grew up in a church, know about church life, in a, to a certain extent where I get good teaching, good food. But today, when I look how my life changed, I used to be in the dance hall, I play the jiggy jiggy, jiggy with it. Come on, somebody. I, pray, I used to play the, 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 the cartel. Yes, yes, yes. I used to do those things, the, the big it up. Yes, I used to, I used to play the, the real, real down to earth dance hall. Catch me. Catch up on the biggest sound. Following the biggest sound. Playing in, playing in any era, wherever they say, Andre, you come out there tonight. Come play two tune. And yeah, because I love, I love, I love what I do in a technical way. But, but there's something that I enjoy about the music. But I want to tell you something about this song. Listen. Da, 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 da. Walk with God. Walk with God. It's like the red on sheep. Oh yes, we see. Them must sell out them soul to get rich, but no men can do it. Who oh, men can do it? I rock that work hard for the little where me have is like the red on sheep. Oh yes, we see. Them must sell out them soul to get rich, but no men can do it. Who oh, men can do it? I rock that work hard and work hard. Brother yeah. Marl and Christy. I tell you the last is getting cold. See them now the stories unfold. Yet still half of the story has never been told. Man put price tags on them soul. And them no care about the innocent and God of a book. People sacrificing the people they love. Is this about the game? Why this thing so strange? Or is it about some money and fame? I said like the world and cheap. Oh yes, we see. Them must sell out them soul to get rich, but no me. I'm a Jamaican. Who oh, me can do it? One night, Burkhan. I must tell you this testimony. Like the world and cheap. Oh yes, we see. I must tell you this testimony. Them soul to get rich. Ah boy, I must share this testimony. I must. Share this testimony. Let me put on the headphone. No, let me park it a little bit. I must share this testimony. And the devil have a way for cause God's people for gone cheap. I was home. I was home about eight years ago. I was home. I came in off the road after I was fellowshipping or even having a recreation moment with my friends. Talking to somebody right now, I want you to listen. And while I was at home, my mom, who wasn't well at the time, she was she was the founder. She was the founder of the ministry of Holy Tabernacle of Jesus Christ Apostolic. My father was the overseer, and he was in the bed also sleeping. My sisters were in their room getting ready for bed. But I'm a late man, love coming late. Because you know, boys love to stay out for a while. Anyway, I come home and 
about to go in to eat my late dinner, which is my dinner. And being there, I heard the dog was barking. I want you to listen to this. So I went outside being responsible, and there I saw a younger, there was a club next door. We call it Go Go Club. Can we talk? Let me talk. Let me talk. The Lord bids me to share this. Because cause the song is entitled, we wo we, 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 The World Gone Cheap. But the devil will use somebody who is living a cheap life to set up you who want to live a righteous life. So at there, I heard a crying out inside a my yard with a whole heap of dog there. Dog, I mean, when I say dog, anybody who know me, know my family, we have dogs. We, my father loved dogs and we love animals. And in spite of the dogs were in the home, this young girl coming from the club, but she was down the road into a car doing her thing because that's what she do. But trouble came her way. She had to run into my yard where my family were Christians. I mean, pastors. I come talking to your ministers. I mean, everybody in my yard saved. Everyone in my yard saved. Everyone in my my siblings, my, my, my children. Them. I mean, I mean, them saved. Whether they're not baptized, they're gonna baptize. But I'm saying to you, they're saved. The young girl was in the yard naked. I'm talking to you. Hi, I'm an individual who has a challenge. My challenge in my past was, was humanizing. The devil put place that on my life. And it was so rampant that the devil was, was, was sending them on. In a way, I wasn't doing wrongs to the extreme. I mean, but I was sinning. But that wasn't what I was doing that night. But the young woman, I'm talking to you. The young woman, she was running for her life. I said, what happened to you? She said, save me now. Save me from the man, you know. She said, while she were doing her thing with the man, she realized he pulled off the protection. Come on, somebody. I'm talking to you. I want you to listen to this one. She, she said he pulled off the, 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 the protection that they would do their thing in the car. And because of that, she got to find a way and she run and she find me yard. I said, Lord, have mercy. I wonder if I, if I set up this. I wonder if somebody will use earth to try to come and rob our family. I'm talking to you. But immediately I said, listen, I have my own room. I could have said, come. At them time there, the flesh really weak. I'm talking to you, but God will do something. I want to talk to somebody. We, 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 are, we, are, we, are, we are the devil who would want to put you into a spot or in a corner. Amen. To, 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 to feed on the things that is not of God. But right there. I start to think conscious and somebody, the Lord said, run to the home and call out your sisters because this woman is naked. And I don't want to put my hand on her, try to do, give her something and then it look like, say, I am the guilty one. I didn't know if, if I set up, if somebody was hiding in the yard to come rob the family or do something. So right there, you know what I did? I run to the home. I said, mommy, mommy. Mommy could hardly move. I said, Donna, Shana, ah, come here, come here. Um, <clears throat> Care and she comes up to cover this girl. She something is wrong with her. And I was right there when they run out with the stuff and cover her. Minister work. She said the man and her, they were doing their thing, business. Because she's, you know, the story, oh, the Lord is really working. God, this, this, this scripture that I put up. The woman, uh, I tell you, Rahab. I mean, the faithful Rahab. Uh, she, she was a harlot, but she, she has purpose in her. And the young miss. The young miss, she was crying. Cause there was there was pressure on her where the man the one had sex with her without the condom. And he was a taxi man. And everybody knows a taxi man in Jamaica. So most of them are nasty man. I gotta say it as it is. I'm talking to you. And right there, my sisters did what they had to do, and I depart and leave. The brother coming at the yard. Say, hey girl, you can't, you cannot go away like this, you know. You know, don't do your work yet, you know. And come on, somebody, I'm talking to you. You don't, you, you're not finished with the work yet. Come and pay you, you know. She said, your time up. And you did want to do this and do that. And I don't know if you're sick or you have the AIDS or whatever it is. And I have to run for my life, my brother. The devil was in that man so much. That even on my yard, he might go on with him. He said, get out. 
I stand in the in in, in the in the responsible in in the responsible ear of my life to say to this man, get out. And my sister clothed the young miss, put on clothes on her. She was naked as she born in front of me. Come on, somebody. And I was having a challenge in those days. And God prepare me for, to be the one. I, I, somebody else said, God I test you. No, God not test you. God know like there's Job. God know where Job capable of. God know where, where I would be today. I want to tell somebody the Lord know where you, you would have been today. He know where you're going to be. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Lord know who you're going to be today. Whether you're good or you're bad. I know the man. I know the taxi man. Him drive on the route where I live. And from that day, me mark him. God, the Lord, breathe a testimony that I could tell somebody tonight. You may be into a spot, into a position where the devil position you. If you, if you live off of some things that is worldly. Which is no good to you. But I trust that this woman changed after that night. Because we encourage her. I don't even remember if I took her home. But I, be, I, be, but I believe, amen. I don't even know that she, I didn't know, I don't even know if she paid the man back his money. But she was living a cheap life, lying into a car, doing her thing. But she was still sober enough that she realized that the man was taking off the condom to save her life. And the Lord is about to save somebody's life tonight who, whose life about to run, run to a wreck. A life that is about to go on cheap. And for those who feel the guilt in you, don't, don't be pitiful for yourself. Be faithful in God that he's able to change you. Stop pity yourself. I have been there. Some of you have been there. But only God. Somebody say only God. Only God. But every pastor have a testimony. Glory to God. Every pastor have a good word. A good news. The pastor that are chosen called to do the work of God. You must have something to tell somebody about the goodness of God. And here I am today. Didn't know that I would be who I am today. And it's all because of Jesus. Uh, it wasn't my mother who has the gift. It wasn't my father who has a call in his life. It was Jesus. Somebody is upset with you calling the name of Jesus. Don't care you know who you serve time for some of us to know who we serve and today I want to thank God that I didn't even say you can stay in my room tonight I'm talking to you I'm thanking God that I did not say to that young girl you come I, I carry my room because I'm playing a game too glory to God because some of us love to play the game that our friend played the Lord is talking you know glory some of us love to follow company. But the Lord set me free. Was preparing me for a day like this. That right now I can say there is a young man and a young woman. Who is going to hear this testimony. And the devil will bring things to you. But the Lord will be your help. I'm speaking help. That help will come from the Lord. And help is on its way. I'm in the studio. My wife is doing her thing down, 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 down where she would do her thing. But I feel church. I'm talking to somebody. I feel church. Glory to God. If you're in your house and you feel church, give God praise. Come on. Uh, I hear Pastor Rebecca said, some of you use Facebook. I tell you, I've been getting it over and over again. I take one day. God, give me one day. My ask me overseer. One day. She, she, she would be on a Saturday. Uh -huh. And time to come, she will be back on this radio program, Hugs Radio. Uh -huh. Being the founder of the station, through the ministry, Holy Tabernacle of Jesus Christ, Apostle, which God called. And every ministry that God planted, the devil can pull up. Can, can, can pull up its root. Well planted. If you are the church and you are well planted, look at what your brother said about you. Your church sister, come on, your neighbor, you are supposed to stand firm in the liberty. With Christ. Eh? Stand firm. And we have the power to tell the devil, stand down. Come on, somebody. Somehow we know if we talk to a dog and say, get away, get away. It's time for us to tell the devil, stand down and be still. Because the Holy Ghost is in you. The best tool one could ever have is the Holy Spirit. And you can't go heaven without that. 
talking to you. I was playing the song and the, and, and the testimony just comes so whoops. Yes, my brothers and sisters, I was playing the song and the testimony just comes so whoops in my spirit. And this is the time that the Lord has me to share it. First time the number gone up to 70. Who could it be? But Jesus. Because there's a church out there. Eh? Whether you're the unsaved, I'm calling you to be the church. Eh? The, the woman Rahab, faithful Rahab, she was the church. Some of you outside and you backslide, but you are the church. You're not giving your life fully yet to the Lord, but you are the church. Because there's a work for you, it is time for you to pack up and say, yes, Lord, and to your will. It's time. And you must know when it's time. Because some of you hear from God. Oh, oh, how oh, did Rahab knew? How did she knew? How did she knew that the land belongs to God and his people? How did she knew? There's a connection. Come on, there's a faith belief. Someone need to develop that faith belief. Amen. That no matter what nobody say, no matter what them say, there's no Jesus. You know there's a Jesus. Sometimes you feel bad in yourself because your friend I tell you say there's no Jesus. But I want to tell somebody, stand firm. Truth. The gospel is true. Jesus Christ died for us. Don't sell him out for money. Don't sell him out for a need that is not good. Do what you fed I read Jamaican talk. Do what you fed I saw some of your women talk to your man. Do what you do now. I'm talking to you now. Do what you must do. That you were called to do. Ask for help. There is help tonight. And I'm saying to the Lord, rescue somebody. I'm, I'm asking the Lord, rescue somebody tonight. By the sound of my voice, rescue somebody. And I, and I trust that that young girl that came into my house, my yard naked. My sisters are a witness. My mother, if she was alive today, she would be a witness. She would say, yes, it's true. But the Lord sometimes allow you to behold some things that eight years after, come on. Ten years after, you can talk about it and tell that testimony how you overcome. It could be all who were there in the presence. It was God. Give God thanks, somebody. Give God thanks for saving me. Cause maybe, maybe she's sick and I don't know. Come on. But I believe she's not because she would be running from the man. She's she doing the work of the devil, but she have he, she, she, she afraid of he aids. She has sell herself, but she's afraid of he aids. So you have some women doing some things, but they're afraid, but they're doing because they want again. Pray for them. And I want to tell somebody I love you. If you're a homosexual, I love you. If you're a gay, I love you. Come on. If you're a man tonight and you know like man tell us I then love you, I love you. If you was in the gutter, even if you're still in the gutter, I love you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. The love of God is pure. The love of God is real. The love of God is true. The reason why you can't you can't tap into certain preaching is you try to, ah the Lord of talk. Some of you trying to tap into certain preaching on Facebook and uh, 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 and YouTube and I know it just feel good for a while. But when you get a right word in your soul, it change you. Glory. It transform you. It make you feel new. That you don't want to go back into the gutter. The Lord did things for me and allow me to prove it so that I will say no to the devil. Is there anybody who are a witness today know that when the Lord work in you, you can say no to the devil? No to the devil. No to the devil. With authority. Do, I, I, I'm thanking God for tonight that I can tell someone, don't sell out your soul for, for your bills to pay. Glory. For your, your body to cool down. Huh? Yeah. Go to church and then after church. Gone in my mess. 
playing the drum earlier on, but I gone in my mess. I'm talking to you. I had a worship session in those days, but I gone into my mess after church service. But I'm telling somebody tonight, it is over. Because God helped me. Somebody prayed for me. They had me on their mind. They sacrificed their time. And they go down on their knees and pray for me. It wasn't my mother alone. But somebody from afar also. That the Lord anoints. Come on. And that Holy Spirit today. That, 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 that works in man. That is active today. Is able to do it for you. Somebody give God praise. Give God praise. You have reason. You have reason. I can't tell you more, but not today. Because some of you know want talk things them so that you can be delivered. But I tell my wife today, testimony is a delivering to the soul. When you testify, you shall break free. Because you're beating down hell. hell. You're beating it. You're beating it. You're beating it till it becomes frazzled out. Somebody need to beat L, beat it out till it get flat till you see it no more. Somebody need to beat down sin. Look at me. Ask my brethren. Ask my church family from the ministry of Holy Tabernacle. This boy named me call up. But tonight. Tonight. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. My soul is a witness. For the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm a witness. Holy Ghost. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. My soul is a witness. For the Lord. 